and all this while this garbage did not have any particular value at all okay huh. but our company's initiative is that we are going to provide a value to this free electricity back okay and okay, whatever okay. is being exported is 250 kilowatt to the grid okay how to utilize your technology for biomass so that, that to answer your question green gyro is actually going to uh, 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 provide this innovative technology for all different countries okay including india so how biomass can uh, work out over here is okay. if you actually see there is something which is called as waste management okay 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 so waste management uh, in india and throughout the world is actually being uh, uh, put forward by various governments mm -hmm. the reason being collecting waste is becoming so difficult in each and every place correct so for example even if you're taking india for mm. uh, example we have villages then you have panchayats then mm. you have municipalities yes. corporations wards yes. then you have cities correct uh, oh, in all of these places collection of waste is the most problematic thing correct so off lay these waste management centers are being made where they collect the waste and then they utilize the waste in order to produce some sort of electricity okay so what our company is innovatively trying to do is mm -hmm. we are trying to approach a new scheme where for all the providers of waste for example in a house there is someone who actually has some amount of waste which is there correct so for them when they tend to provide that waste mm -hmm. for the biomass unit mm -hmm. we will tend to give them back free electricity for that particular house oh that's and great. whatever we are mm -hmm. amplifying right mm -hmm. from the biomass plant we can even give uh, like give it out to various other commercial use also okay so the entire outlook over here is whoever is providing waste we are even looking at them mm. by giving them free electricity back and even for all the other industrialists also who would like to utilize that electricity okay. for various other commercial purposes also even we are even looking at that too okay so this is going to be like a win win situation for everyone okay. and here the most problematic part of the collection of waste we are going to ensure that it's going to be done in a very nice uh, particular manner okay. such that there will be no wastage around so yeah, okay. now like for example there is a person in a house who will have to give about 1 kg of waste mm -hmm. and if he is not able to get that 1 kg waste he will try to clean the nearby surroundings Correct. to ensure that the waste comes up to 1 kg okay, to provide okay. it uh -huh, uh -huh, so that okay. his whatever he is able to provide he is able to provide okay. and he gets free electricity oh, now there could be even another way in which some people will have their own solar powered houses okay. where they will tell okay we don't require that electricity mm -hmm. for them what the other scheme the scheme has like an A and a B. Mm -hmm. So the B uh, part of the scheme is that we will pay them, suppose one rupee for that uh, one kg okay. or something like that. Uh -huh. So they even get like a revenue side of things. Roshan, can I see the proof of concept? Definitely, Data. Why don't we just go ahead right now itself? Let's go and let's check. Sure. So, Data, you will actually see that here there are some houses. Correct. So, over here, what the exact uh, thing over here is, you would see that garbage is being collected from these houses. So, mm -hmm. there is dry waste here. Is wet waste and this plastic okay so the entire idea over here is that in this particular village there will be a particular biomass unit okay. we'll be talking to an industrialist and all this while this garbage did not have any particular value at all okay huh. but our company's initiative is that we are going to provide a value to this so since these houses have actually contributed on giving so much of garbage over here okay what we are planning to actually do is we are going to take this particular garbage from them Mm -hmm. and give them back electricity oh, so okay. either mm -hmm. on giving back the particular electricity what can happen is they get free electricity back okay suppose if the houses are being uh, powered by solar panels then what we are actually going to do is we are actually going to give them like a particular remuneration okay. so for the 10 uh, kgs of garbage which they have actually given over here we are going to give them 1 kg uh, 1 rupee per kg okay. on indian rupees it's like uh -huh. 1 rupee per kg so it comes up to like 10 rupees okay. overall okay. so they are going to get 10 rupees for just the garbage which they have given over here for 10 kgs mm -hmm. suppose they are not able to fill in this 10 kgs but 10 kgs is like the minimum requirement oh, they okay. will go and clean the nearby place also and bring and come so that they'll ensure that 10 kgs oh, is being that's given great. Yeah. so that is the mm -hmm. overall idea over okay, here okay. so they are not only just cleaning their house mm -hmm. they are just cleaning even the nearby surroundings Surrounding. to ensure okay. that we are able to provide okay. the actual amount of uh, garbage required for the biomass unit to give them either electricity or a remuneration Oh. and the remaining whatever we are able to amplify right okay. see waste management companies have been immense in india and throughout the world mm -hmm. this has always been there since quite a long time okay. but right now what we are helping them do is we are helping them amplify the power mm -hmm. because with whatever waste that they are able to collect mm -hmm. they are only been able to produce a limited amount of power okay 
So we are going to help them to amplify it to a, a bigger extent, so that in this particular village itself, okay. for all other commercial activities apart mm -hmm. from the residential, which we are giving free for those people who are contributing, okay. other commercial activities they can actually give out this particular power. Okay. okay. So that is our entire agenda. Okay. One, we are going to ensure that the place becomes much cleaner, and secondly, we are also going to ensure that uh, power gets utilized correctly okay so okay. that's so, all that we are so okay. till now like what i told earlier garbage did not have value okay thanks correct. to green gyro right now garbage is having some value yes where yes. it's going to go back to the residents who provide the garbage and it's also going to help industrialists super, so super. let me show you now from the machine perspective sure sure uh, really let's go so this is a particular uh proof of concept which we have built over here okay so what you can actually see this is a fuel generator okay which is here this you can consider as an example of any uh, any uh, the, any power plant which actually uses an input, for example, okay. this could be a thermal power plant, mm -hmm. this could be a biomass unit, or this could also uh, be an ONGC plant. Okay. So any plant which takes an X amount as an input, okay. and then it will take the electrical power which will be generated over here, Okay. go on to our amplification device. So we okay. have a 250 kilowatt amplification device. Okay. From there, there will be a particular these export wires which will transmit the particular power or onto the grid okay so right mm -hmm. now there would have been uh, like this particular proof of concept is more like if you have taken the garbage over there utilize this is a biomass unit okay. you are putting that okay. garbage over here so for it to uh, uh, get a particular electricity output but here we are going to amplify it in such a way okay. in which your overall desired output is going to be much more okay so here Shivam will actually start this. okay This is going to be where, like, uh, garbage is put, or one k or one ton of uh, coal is being utilized in case of thermal power plant. Okay. And all of that. So here you actually get about 50 kilowatt of power which is being generated. Okay. So from this here, it's up to your imagination whether you would like to utilize it as a biomass unit or whether you would like to utilize it as a thermal. Uh, power plant okay. or an ONGC wherever an input is actually being given. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So this 50 kilowatt which transmits on this particular line okay. so comes over to our amplification device which okay. we have kept over there. Uh -huh. So if you actually follow the particular path and you keep coming okay. you would actually notice that we have a starter box over there okay. which is kept for this particular machine. Mm -hmm. So the power which gets transmitted over to the starter box about 10 okay. kilowatt goes over there to the motor. Okay. In the word motor it will actually start rotating these flywheels Okay. Which is there. We have a green gyro box also which is inside. Okay. This is a 250 kilowatt. So the exporting power will go out from this distribution box. It will go to the grid. Okay. And in order to know how much of power is being exported, mm -hmm. this is a biodiversity meter. Okay. So which will actually showcase the amount of power okay. which gets exported mm -hmm. and which goes over to the grid. You can start. You can start the machine. So over there, that's going to be your uh, power project. Okay. So this could. I leave it to your imagination. You want to use it as biomass. You want to use it as thermal okay. or you want to use it as ONGC, whatever, it's up to your particular margin. Huh. So once that starts off, they will actually, the power will come over here. Okay, okay. Okay. So, if it started, okay. you will get your particular power which uh, gets generated like whatever the 50 kilowatt would come in mm -hmm. from the uh, lines, which okay. is there. And then it will go on to our particular power amplification machine. Okay, okay. Which we have kept over here. The green gyro machine. Like switch that on. Okay. I'll go. Uh, okay. And then you would see that the power gets transmitted to the yeah, motor. Yeah. From the motor the flywheel starts running. Correct. And then it will turn uh, in such a, it will uh, turn with so much of RPM in such a way such that our 250 kilowatt machine okay. it gets amplified. So the 50, kilo, 50 kilowatt would went in as an input will come out as 250 kilowatts okay and that goes that will get exported through this particular uh, distribution box okay 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 uh. okay okay kilowatt which uh, gets uh, Comes in as an input, goes okay. to the transmission lines, okay. goes over to our particular machine okay. where 10 kilowatt is being utilized by the motor. Okay. The flywheel starts to run through the green gyro box, okay. and then our 250 kilowatt alternator, which is there, 
the electromechanical energy get comes out okay. and it gets exported okay 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 so your 50 kilowatt gets amplified to 250 kilowatt okay and okay, okay. whatever is being exported is 250 kilowatt to the grid okay so okay. this is how you you were asked for a proof of concept correct correct and i am yeah. delivering your proof of concept oh okay. so we have amplified an amount of power an x amount of power amplified it gave the desired output similarly for any sort of a power project okay. we can actually amplify the power and give it out okay. so that is our agenda okay got it